I would also say, from my point of view, please try and understand the sheer distress and terror I live in every day with my Alzheimer's, because that's what it is. Are you able to tell me a little bit more about what you mean by that, that distress? Well, and that terror? because, as I said before, my father had this before me. He was, I think, diagnosed at 57, but in hindsight it was before that. He lost all his physical and mental abilities, and I, I looked at him through that. In my clinical practice as a nurse, I've seen him as well, so I know what the future holds for me, but I don't worry about it because what's the point? It might be next week, it might be 20 years away, I don't know, and I don't want to know. When it happens, it happens. But yes, I am scared of that, and I'm terrified of that. And because I know that's out there, and I can't get away from it, I think that's what provokes a terror in me, because I can see I am a medication which is supposed to hold things stable. But I can still see myself disappearing. I can see my memory getting worse, if that's not a, a strange way to think. I can see things happen to me which wouldn't be happening otherwise, so I can see myself deteriorating. Mm. I can hear myself deteriorating. And so that, when I see that, that adds to my, my terror of every day. But having said that, I just get through every day as it comes. Tomorrow will take care of itself. So get through today, and that's today done. Oh, and tomorrow will look after itself.